All we can say at this point is that the reproductive rules that apply to nearly all other mammal species do not function the same way in elephants. In any event, whatever the intricacies of the elephant reproductive system may be, it all seems to work out very well here in the wild. But it just as often appears to fail in captivity. People working in the zoo field have been very disappointed to learn that they are one of the very few animals that reproduces less successfully in captivity than it does in the wild. For example, consider the case of Jody. She is another female Asian elephant here at the Buffalo Zoo. She is a young adult in the prime of her life, and if she were in the wild, she would surely either be pregnant by now or already be raising a young baby of her own. Careful analysis of the hormone levels in her urine have shown that her reproductive system is cycling normally. And a thorough examination by a veterinarian has shown that she is in excellent health in all other regards. Consequently, when she was recommended to participate in the Species Survival Plan coordinated by the American Zoological Association, she was moved to another zoo for a year for breeding. All evidence showed that she settled in quite well with the elephants there, and she was even observed right on schedule to mate with their male. However, inexplicably, Jody never became pregnant, and no one quite understands why. And the sad part is that the case of Jody is not at all unusual. Elephants in captivity everywhere are reproducing at a rate that is only about one-fourth of their wild counterparts. And this is most unusual, because nearly all other species respond to the good nutrition and lack of predation in captivity by reproducing at a rate that is much higher than that seen in the wild. The one thing that elephants like Jody have taught us is that with this species, it obviously takes more than simply bringing a male and female together. And this is a most urgent problem because even in the best of conditions, elephants are very slow reproducers. When an elephant does get pregnant, she has a gestation period of 22 months. And after that, she will nurse her baby for an additional 22 months. That means that a female elephant can only have one baby every four years. That is probably the slowest reproduction rate of any animal. All we can think to do at this time is to make captive conditions more and more like those in the wild. And this is an idea that is gaining increasing support in the zoo community. The thinking is that we need to allow elephants to live in much larger groups, in much larger areas, and to form the equivalent of extended families like those seen in wild populations.